Russian Philosophical Congress took place at the end of May in Moscow. Over 1,500 participants had registered for the Congress, with only 500 actually coming in person, so all the sessions were held in blended mode, both in class and online. The overtly premeditated worsening of relations between Russia and the Western world revitalized the quest for unique Russian idea, independent of the West. So the Institute of Philosophy decided to urgently celebrate the 100th anniversary of Alexander Zinoviev, a controversial logician and political philosopher who first made a career in Soviet Union, then emigrated to the West, bashing Soviet reality from there, and then, after the collapse of Soviet Union, bashing the West for collapsing the Soviet Union. No wonder that young professor from St. Petersburg in his speech says that only Russian culture represents the natural order of man, society and cosmos, and further enlists the true heroes of Russia. Да, мы знаем героев в нашей, в нашей истории, князей Владимира Красно-Солнышко, Александра Невского, Ивана Великого и царя Ивана Грозного, Иосифа Волоцкого Нила, и Нила Сорского, Минина с Пожарским, Петра Первого и Сталина. The rector of the University of Arhangelsk reiterated the Soviet principle that philosophy's mission is to provide ideology. Но ведь философия, и мы с вами прекрасно об этом знаем, Наука, формирующая мировоззрение, по сути, идеология. То, в чем сегодня мы крайне нуждаемся. The work of 24 sections, 12 symposia and 25 roundtable talks were tightly packed within one day only, taking place simultaneously. But two days in the best Soviet tradition, were given to plenary sessions, presided by the noble grannies who saw and remember every Russian ruler from Stalin to Putin. So I think that Russian Philosophical Congress systematically failed its mission to think and to do philosophy in polycentric world, because even Russian philosophers, presumably, a part of intellectual Russian elite, cannot think of the world with many centers, where intellectual, emotional, religious, educational centers are as important as political or economic ones. They can't see multi-layered, multi-faceted world developed on a grenzen, the world without the Berlin Walls, the world miraculous and sparkling, beyond the binary oppositions of us and them, of leftist versus rightist, of friends and foes, of us and enemies. So, how we can be surprised that thinking about the world beyond gender opposition of female and male makes their world blast off. Конечно, сказать, что не только отцовство, но и материнство, вопреки третьему полу и э, бесполой гендерной философии современного Запада, э, вот важность этих двух понятий для русской культуры, она, безусловно, э, очень велика. In order to commemorate the late dean of the philosophical faculty of Moscow State University, the organizers decided to print a wonderful calendar full of brilliant photos and magnificent quotations from his works. The only problem is that, well, the calendar is for the year 2021, which is slightly in the past. So, full steam reverse Russian philosophy.